TalkIG is not just endpoint detection. Uh, we're an integrated detection platform um, that also has um, response capabilities that goes beyond alerting. So the HawkIG platform itself has a real-time endpoint host sensor. We have a network sensor to look for network uh, activity and indicators of uh, compromise. We have cloud services that uh, does further analysis on indicators of compromise that we detect. Uh, we have a set of behavioral analytics on the platform as well as part of our threat scoring model, and we can bring in third-party indicators from supportive vendors like FireEye and Palo Alto. The response platforms for, for our technology is not just um, alerting uh, and uh, reports and these type of things, but we can take action on the network side, block outbound connections, uh, uh, redirect to a, a bot trap honey client, but also take actions on the endpoint itself. The actions on the endpoint can be done through uh, policy-based automation. So on a certain endpoint, uh, at a certain score, a certain type of indicator, you can go ahead and do automatic actions. You can also do bulk actions, select all, uh, uh, do uh, endpoint remediation by the dozens or hundreds or thousands. We have a REST API, so you can programmatically execute some of those actions, and our partners are doing that today, uh, including with Splunk. And then certainly from a manual action where the operator, the security analyst can click and go ahead and quarantine a file or kill a process. So from a data flow, uh, we bring in network indicators from uh, our network sensor, our uh, multi-gigabit uh, deep packet inspection network sensor, uh, real-time eventing off of the host sensor, so lightweight host sensor for Windows and Linux platforms. We have 175 different heuristics, which is non-signature detection, the ability to find malware without signatures. We have a threat feed that uh, uh, brings in um, early warning indicators of compromise and a cloud intelligence service uh, to verify commodity malware, um, um, infection spread, those type of things. Through supported platforms like Palo Alto Next Generation Firewall and their wildfire on-premise or cloud sandboxing, and the FireEye NX platform, we can bring in uh, those threat indicators, those malware objects, and bring it into a unified view in the HawkIG manager appliance. As we detect those events and we bring those in, um, we're bringing in uh, things like file creation and file modification and file delete on the endpoint, so real-time eventing on Windows platforms, process execution, process termination, threat inject module load, so we can look for some type of scripting attacks or if someone uh, uh, loads memory into an existing Windows service. Looking for registry key creates and modification and deletions uh, for persistence to hijack um, uh, uh, um, keys or create new keys uh, to uh, persist for malware and certainly network connections. Our network sensor is able to decode protocols. We can detect over 4,400 different protocols. The main goal of that is to identify outbound connections. So uh, infected machines uh, calling out, beaconing out, down, looking for their command and control infrastructure, uh, uh, looking to download second stage droppers or download remote access toolkits um, or those type of things. So by understanding application detection, we can find web traffic tunneled in non-standard ports. So web traffic tunneled in port 9000, web traffic tunneled over Skype, web traffic tunneled um, over DNS, where it's a DNS query that then switches to HTTP. So that's why we're able to do application detection for that. Uh, we can look for URL downloads, FTP, uh, HTTP, HTTPS, uh, look at DNS queries, uh, uh, um, and also look at um, uh, the destination for IP addresses. We can redirect to a bot trap, sort of a honey client, and capture metadata. Then, as I mentioned, third-party integration, we can bring in Palo Alto Threat Prevention Module and Wildfire. Spy load, uh, spyware phone home, spyware download, virus, DNS, wildfire, and the FireEye NX platform bring in their alerts. So if they detect in the network a malware callback or a web infection or domain match or infection match, and then they'll also bring in their malware object, which is the analysis from their sandbox detonation, bring it directly into the HawkIG platform. So as you bring it in, we have a module called ThreatSync. And ThreatSync is an event fusion uses all these events together to a common model and performs behavioral analytics. The behavioral analytics 
is the ability to look at indicators. So not just indicators of compromise that are known, but indicators of activity, uh, events and observables, and put together a scoring model that is based on uh, the threat actor activity on the endpoint. So was an application exploited and did files get dropped onto the file system? Uh, uh, was there memory injected into a running process? Um, did it try to communicate out and download second stage content? Uh, did it try to delete itself, uh, uh, persist itself uh, into the registry and then uh, follow on for any command and control? So all of those activities, those behavioral anomalous activities as part of the kill chain, we detect from network sensor, our real-time host sensor, third-party uh, systems if configured, uh, verify with our cloud intelligence service and give a prioritized threat score ranking on an indicator and an incident, a device basis. And that drives response capabilities. So different from other platforms, our technology allows you to do manual actions directly on one, many, or all endpoints. Kill running processes, quarantine files, remove registry keys, um, block outbound network connections, execute forensic surveys, and then as a platform to execute further countermeasures. And you can do that all through the Hawkeye GUI, regardless um, of where that endpoint is located. You don't need to log into that endpoint. You don't need credentials on that endpoint. The Hawkeye G system with the host sensor is able to do that. We have the ability to drive automated actions based on policy. So this threat score for this device or this machine type or in this location, um, even at a certain time of day, you can drive automated actions. Uh, maybe for file servers, you only want to kill uh, uh, known bad malicious running processes, but for some other back office machines, you can quarantine files, remove registries, um, automated, um, uh, even if there is a suspicious chance for that. You can tune those automation policies to go along with your corporate security strategy, your response protocols, and any manual actions that are done by your uh, security analyst staff. Um, all of the indicators, uh, the incidents that we detect, threat score, actions, action outcomes, or syslog out uh, in common event format uh, to Splunk or ArcSight or, or other type of SIM or big data platforms. Our REST API allows you to programmatically execute those actions as well. So we have the ability to integrate, and we have an integration with Splunk, where Splunk can execute actions as part of their, um, their response framework and programmatically communicate to the Hawkeye G Manager appliance and tell uh, actions uh, uh, to perform on the endpoints. So through the REST API, you can programmatically execute actions, uh, kill these five processes, uh, quarantine these two files, remove these registry settings, uh, all part of the same platform. Thank you.